I saw this episode the night it premiered and I was angry the rest of the night. That plot point is so poorly handled that I lack the talent to make fun of it. Oh yeah, I remember those commercials. They were never funny. They were actually kind of depressing. So let's move away from movies and instead look at a TV series. And once again, we'll be going back to Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic Boom ran on Cartoon Network here in the States from 2014 to 2017, following our favorite blue hedgehog and his group of friends as they defend a small island from the evil Dr. Eggman and his army of robots. This series has a weird history, and try and follow me on this. Okay, so in 2014, Sega tried to create a new spin-off series for Sonic called Sonic Boom that not only would include video games, but also a TV series, comic books, and toys. The first two games, Rise of Lyric and Shatter Glass, both came out around the same time of the TV show in late 2014. Shattered Crystal for the 3DS got mixed reviews, but Rise of Lyric for the Wii U was slammed, criticized for its camera, glitches, and controls, becoming one of the most hated Sonic games right alongside Sonic 06. It didn't do well commercially either, and because of that, only one more game was ever made, Fire and Ice for the 3DS in 2016. It did okay critically and commercially, but that didn't stop the Sonic Boom spin-off franchise from dying out not long after. In fact, the only part of this that seemed to get pretty good reception was the TV show. And this show is really funny. Unlike Sonic Sad AM, this show was purely a comedy with a few action elements. And it's way, way better than that series. I reviewed the first episode back in 2015 and I liked it fine, but man, I wasn't prepared for how much I would end up loving this show. 80% of the time, this show's comedy is hilarious. But then there's that 20%. When this show was unfunny, it couldn't just be unfunny, it had to be cringe. The bad humor in this show makes you wonder how the writers who gave us so many great laughs could ever even think this is funny. And since the comedy is tied so much to the stories, bad jokes can ruin entire episodes. And I think few show that better than the fourth episode of the series titled Buster. Hey, fresh dudes! Mind if we chill your crib? No, not that buster. I wish. First off, it's a Styx episode, already the worst character and one who really only is enjoyable as a supporting role. Anyway, Eggman's firefighting robot is running loose. You're fired, pal! <laughs> get it? I do get it, Knuckles. I absolutely do. After explaining the joke about how ironic that a firefighting robot is starting fires, Sonic blows it up as Eggman runs away. Nah, looks like that robot is fired! Boo! I won't use that often, trust me, it'll get old quick. For some reason, they ask Styx to get the cat out of the tree, and she does by violently shaking it. Styx, we want to talk about how you treat animals. It's not a good idea to shake kittens out of trees. Hey, if you knew she was bad with animals, then it's on you for asking her to help the cat. They decide she needs a pet because getting someone who doesn't know how to treat animals a pet is a great idea. You'd expect it to be a setup for a joke, but it's really not. She doesn't like cute, fuzzy, and adorable. Or maybe she's just afraid to admit she likes being cute and adorable. No ma'am, that would make sticks more than just a one-note joke. She finds a robot dog in the trash, and yeah, this pretty much is the biggest problem with the episode. This thing is gross. It always has this green slobber coming out of it, and it's the perfect shade of green to just make me cringe and disgust. I hate looking at it. I'm gonna name him Buster. Buster the Cluster? Yeah, I get that he's supposed to be gross, and the joke is Styx doesn't realize how gross he is, but it's a one-note joke, and it's not that funny. Hell, even the other characters don't seem that grossed out by him, they just find him an annoyance. Ew, Buster got slime in my fur! That joke might have been funny had he had more of a grossed-out expression on his face. He even starts throwing up on their food and the most amount of emotion they can conjure up is disappointed scowl. Eggman's henchbot starts stealing from a warehouse disguised as Tails and Sonic. It doesn't really come up with an explanation why they did that. Sticks, run around back and head him off. I don't want to put Buster in danger. Besides, it's his walk time. Oh, for Pete's sake, so they're doing that storyline. Anna trips Sonic and we cut back to the house, which I guess means they didn't stop the henchbots. Amy gives Styx the ultimatum that either Buster goes or they do. Where the hell are you gonna go? 
Eggman shows up with a present since he was the one who created Buster, and of course after giving it to him, he turns into a giant monster robot. Is that the tentacle you stole from the warehouse? Oh, please. I used that tentacle as a back scratcher. When I was done scratching, I used it to build him. But you stole the stuff from the warehouse after Buster was built. Styx, of course, doesn't want them to hurt him, not that they're much of a match for him anyway, because the characters now suck at fighting so the plot can happen. Buster, don't do this. You're good inside. Remember all the times we had. <laughs> no, she disciplines him, and this gets Buster to release her friends and toss Eggman into space. He throws up the bone because we need more gross out, and then she just sends him away for some reason? Why? You taught him to be good and how to behave. If you're trying to be emotional, then you failed because the whole time this thing has been gross and annoying. Tails then gets eaten by an octopus. And that's it. Every year of the 2020s, I've reviewed a Sonic cartoon episode. This is easily the best of them. But it still sucks. It's just not funny, and instead of being funny, it chooses to be gross. I hate that dog. I want nothing more than for him to be off the screen. Maybe it could have made up for it if the characters reacted to it with more than just mild annoyance, but instead we get a boring, unlikable, laugh-free episode with none of the wit most of the rest of the show has. Again, about 80% of the time, the show is very funny. This is in the low part of that 20%. Fucking piece of shit, I'll kill everyone in Idaho. Future Nordy, you're back. Oh, oh fuck, fuck, yes, yes. Listen, listen, are you listening? Yes. Listen, you need to stop with the 10th anniversary special. It's gonna take you down a dark path. It's gonna ruin your life. What the hell are you talking about? Doing all these reviews will depress you so much that you'll start sabotaging your life and eventually ruin it. You'll start drinking. In order to cope with the pain, you'll lose your job because you're drunk all the time. You'll lose your friends, your family will abandon you. You'll have no money, lose your home, and completely ruin your life. Eventually, you'll just have to start working at a bar where all you can drink is fucking yingling, and then you'll lose your house. Why do you think I'm outside? This is where I live. Wait, I'm homeless? Are you sure this is because of the special? Yes! <laughs> Listen, I've been perpetually drunk for the past ten years. I... Can't really remember what happened two hours ago that led to me getting this gash under my right nipple, but for a fact, I know that things started going bad on March 23rd, 2022, while filming my 10th anniversary special. Well, I must say, for a 39-year-old homeless guy who's been drinking non-stop for a decade, you look great. Oh, thank you. Turns out, uh, Ying Ling is actually the fountain of youth. Although that beard really needs to be grown in more. Motherfucker, I haven't shaved in three years. This is just how much it grows. But that's not the point. You must stop before it's too late. Look, dude, I'm, I'm sorry about your situation and thanks for the warning, I guess. But I don't think you have to worry. I've already talked about the apparition and inappropriate comedy. And I'm fine. You were always a fool, Nordy. You were always a goddamn fool! Well, look, I'm not stopping, and I still got seven more things to talk about, so if you could just, you know... Fine! If you won't listen to me, then I'll just find someone who will. Not exactly sure what he meant by that, but anyway, on to 2015. The worst year. 